Hello, this is Violet Blue. I'm at Cal Poly in California um, at the Advanced Technology Laboratories where the 2008 Regolith Excavator Robotics Challenge is happening today and has been happening all day where teams from all over the place have come to compete uh, with their own robotic excavators and the types of excavators that they're making are ones that would excavate soil on other planets, specifically in this case on the moon. So these are lunar excavators that we're looking at today. And um, so basically there's a, this, a big variety of diggers and they're made by a bunch of different kinds of people from colleges, from high schools, um, from individual entrepreneurs to you name it, all different kinds of people from all different kinds of backgrounds, of the huge variety of teams really pulled it together and came here to basically try and make things to dig up soil on other planets because the question that seems to be on everybody's minds is um, can a single species um, live, evolve, and stay only on one, on one planet? Um, I've been taking a look at a lot of the machines here today and they're really fascinating. It looks like they're bringing in one of my favorites. Let me see if I can get some video of it for you here. Just a beautiful piece of machinery. And they're keeping us back behind this, this chain fence here. Uh, you can see another one of my favorites that they're pulling out here. It's another type of digger. This one's on casters, swiveling casters and has its own uh, sort of chain-driven scoop system that goes onto a conveyor belt. I don't know how well it fared, um, but this big pit of dust that you see here is actually really, really toxic, which is why everyone in there has masks on. Um, they did their best to sort of chemically simulate the, the chemical dust that's on the surface of the moon, and ooh, you can see it uh, possibly coming toward me and giving me emphysema there. So I'm going to leave the Discovery Channel camera crew to their own uh, ill-fated death uh, recording science, of course, all in the name of science. I'm going to go also run in really quick and show you a couple of the other ones that have already competed today um, and wish the best of luck to my favorite, um, which just looks like possibly like the most coolest looking punk rock wheelchair I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, and I'll really quickly run you over to its uh, control station uh, while nobody's there because it looks really neat. You can get kind of a little bit of an idea of what goes on with the simulation here. So that's basically, in a super, super, super nutshell, how that one works. Over here we have the toxic child moving machine. And then there's this super over here, which I saw work in simulation. Uh, they did a simulation of it in the big room on the big screen, which is where I just was, which is a nice air-conditioned room, by the way. Um, and it didn't fare quite so well, but there was a lot of nice uh, afterward people saying, um, we did a good job and I better luck next time sort of thing. Here's another scooping device on wheels.